Morning Manna Church, Ben Goodman here. I want to welcome you to week two of Manna's 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm pretty energized. Actually, I actually have a sense of urgency about what the Lord has in store for us this week. Why? Because during this week's Morning Manna, the Lord will be challenging each of us to upgrade our prayer lives. Manna's 21 days of prayer and fasting is a time when we, as a church family, are intentional about deepening and strengthening our personal relationship with the Lord. Why? Well, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, tells us that His divine power has given us everything, yes, everything, we need for life and godliness through our personal relationship with Jesus. This relationship is so important to our experiencing the life Jesus has planned for us. This relationship is so important to our navigating the spiritually dark challenges of our day. Our connection with Jesus isn't something to be tacked on to our lives only in emergencies or when it's convenient or during holidays and special occasions. At the risk of seeming to overstate things, cultivating our relationship with Jesus is the very foundation of a life truly worth living. This is where prayer comes in. Authentic, open, consistent communication is essential for any important personal relationship. This is true of our close relationships, our friendships, our marriages. This is true of our relationship with Jesus. Our prayer life, our communication with Jesus is foundational for our relationship with Him. Our prayer life is a vital connection to Jesus himself. I can't overstate the amazingness of this fact. Just knowing that upgrading my prayer life promises to deepen my relationship with Jesus, that stirs me up. What stirs me up even more is the fact that God wants close relationship with us. It's his passion, it's his plan. It is his will to help us upgrade in our prayer lives. It's God himself inviting us. No, actually, he's challenging us to pursue a closer relationship with him. It is God himself challenging us to upgrade our prayer lives. In light of this, what do we do with this challenge? How do we go about rising to the challenge of God's call to upgrade our prayer lives? How do we get started? Well, when his disciples asked Jesus to teach them to pray, they weren't asking him to just teach them a reliable formula for praying. They weren't just asking him for the how-to of getting their prayers answered. They saw the fruit of his lifestyle of prayer. They saw the power of his consistent connection with the Father. They saw that his prayer life was the foundation of how he lived and how he ministered. Jesus' disciples, they were asking for that. So perhaps a good first step in rising to God's challenge would be to make a simple, heartfelt request like, Lord, please teach me to pray. Help me to rise to your challenge to upgrade my prayer life. God loves answering that kind of prayer. Please join me in the next, uh, for each of the next five days. I believe that during our times together, the Lord will help us and equip us to rise to this challenge. See you tomorrow.